Um, let's get on with what we're going to be discussing here, which is breakthrough innovation, breakthrough technology. Um, I will say here, for 20 years I have been studying breakthrough innovation, breakthrough technology. I have been doing my best as a layman to understand quantum approach to technology innovation, to understanding how it is going to be a technology revolution as well as a consciousness revolution that brings about the ascension of humankind, the next great uh, chapter of revelation of humanity is going to happen that way through a, mer a convergence of consciousness and technology. I believe that Captain X behind you on your left shoulder to the right on our screen, I believe that he is one of the leading physicists, engineers, scientists, theoreticians, um, pragmatists, geniuses, savants in the world, not just today, but in our history. From what I saw of this man and what he's already accomplished, it is off the chart. If you took one of his inventions, you could transform the social economy of the world. If you take 10 of his innovations, you could change the face of humanity. The fact of the matter is, he has something like 250 to 300 innovations, inventions that he is ready to unleash in the world, onto the world. And uh, we're going to do everything in our power to protect him and to make sure that Captain X and his incredible repertoire of uh, solutions and technology innovations gets to the world, the whole world. So that's essentially what we had to discuss. I want to um, bring on in a short while Shenaz Sony, who we all know and love. None of the Lazarus uh, members need uh, her introduction. Um, I'm also going to be bringing on uh, Ilana Freeland, who is also no stranger and much beloved by the Lazarus members. And I'll be bringing on Dr. Robert Trussell. And I will also be bringing on a woman who many believe is the cleverest person on earth today. I've said that multiple times to my audience, and I'll say it again. For many years, I regard Dan Winters as the cleverest man alive, the scientist, the inventor, the thinker. And I asked Dan Winters about seven years ago, I said to him, Dan, many people think you are the cleverest man on earth. I think you're the cleverest man on earth, but I want to know who do you think is the cleverest person on earth? And he said, oh, that's so easy for me. He said it's Elizabeth Donovan. Eliza Donovan is without a doubt the cleverest person on earth. So I'm happy to say that I also have Eliza Donovan coming in from Spain onto the screen shortly. Do you want to just give a little recap in Romanian to uh, Captain X and the General? Uh, to explain? I feel a bit guilty that I've been talking for 10 minutes and that okay. you had a chance to just tell them what I've been talking about. Yesterday, you fucking honorat, a făcut un briefing despre România, promovează foarte mult. De aici este a început istoria omenirii, a fost foarte încântat de tot ce am prezentat pentru el în cele 10 zile care a stat cu noi aici și are o mare plăcere pentru voi în mod deosebit. The Dr. X spune că ești the ultimate, la cel mai înalt nivel de tehnologie care în ultimii 20 de ani el a reușit să cunoască toți savanții din lume și are o foarte mare respect și onoare pentru tine și își dorește foarte mult ca împreună să putem să punem omenirii toate aceste tehnologii. A spus că dacă doar una dintre ce avem acum ar putea fi dată lumii, ar schimba cu adevărat fața lumii. Dar sunt mai mult de una, sunt 10, sunt 100, sunt 200 la care tu lucrezi și... Ok, și cu toate chestiile astea, noi putem să, să vopsim planeta într-o culoare vie frumoasă strălucitare. That's, they understand, they love and they appreciate uh, your kindness and they appreciate that uh, you travel so much across the globe and you know what, it's a great honor for us that you become the ambassador of Romania, of Dacia, our country. 
you 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 just dig inside the deep of our DNAs, so you will release the truth to the world from the place where is the lab of the genetic where human beings was born. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Bruno, for that kindness. And thank you, Captain X, Dr. X, and thank you to the general, my beloved uh, friend. So let's begin. I'm going to ask here in the green room, I've got Elana Freeland and I have Shanaz Sony. And I have, uh, I think, Dr. Robert Roussel <coughs> joining us shortly. And I've got Eliza Donovan. What I want to do is invite them to please watch closely um, the short film footage that I'm going to be dropping in onto the screen here. Because what I want to do is invite Shanaz and Eliza uh, to also speak to this and ask a few questions <laughs> of Dr. X. Because Eliza Donovan is also one of these extraordinary inventors and scientists who is also bringing forward technologies that will change the face of the world. And um, I'm looking forward to an integration, as is Shanaz, with Shanaz Sony, with Eliza Donovan, and of course, Ilana Freeland and, um, and Dr. Robert Trussell are really here as um, uh, experts in their field of human health and wellness and Morgellon syndrome, cancer, all of this uh, uh, saga connected to human health and wellness and disease decay because that's what we're about to look at. So friends, um, I'm going to be triggering short clips, very short clips that I took in the laboratory of Captain X. This is his playground. He has a very beautiful place, a very big facility, um, and he has also, as part of his facility, there's a few rooms that are his playground. And what he does there is he creates the proof of concept before things get out to the market. So let's take a look here at a few of these innovations. You have to listen uh, to Bruno trying to explain over the uh, microphone what we're looking at. So let's have a look at the first one. What we're looking at. We have a battery. So <laughs> we have a battery that takes the energy from from the from the energy from the house. Look at here. It's 6.7, 6.9. If you get closer to the people, that is losing power because we consume energy. Yes. So once she is alone, uh, you have more power. So it's a battery that doesn't consume. It's it's taking energy from the air. It's a battery that never loses charge. Never. Okay. <laughs> so don't play with this at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, this mini heater central, it's consumed three, uh, 300 watt, which is less than a solar panel. Yeah. And it's exit heat for 10,000 watt. Yeah. And you will see, this is a very, very, it's a piece of iron. It's hot in a few seconds, we, you oh. cannot Sorry. hold it in your hand. Wow. Wow. I got it. This is a cold fusion central. Okay. This is an isotopic. 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 This this is a this is a free energy fusion, cold fusion. So the, the standard procedures in the world now it's a warm fusion, and now we arrive to a level for the cold fusion. Okay. Free energy device at the fusion, cold fusion, very very. Uh, uh, tiny devices with a very powerful generated energy. Very good. Okay. 
Nu ăsta e ușor. Bagă una în gres. Unde? Aici, bagă în puțin așa. Mai început puțin, atât, atât. Și vezi că poți să-l țin. Da, se încălzește? Da. Se încălzește. Viteza îți dă... Ramai Gheru. Da. 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 El are 10 kg de ce? Deci nu e nimic fără de uterium. So we put the water without the uterium. Deci e obligatoriu. If it's simple water doesn't work. Deci fără de uterium. Este un alt tub interior în care se pune mostra. It's, it's a tube de mostra. Tot, 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 în tubul din altul cu mostra. De exemplu, o bacterie, un virus, o substanță chimică, ce vreau, și nu iese în apă mare. Inside, inside the tube, we will put the, the sample of the virus, bacteria, and, and it's going to the, the, biggest, the biggest jar with water. Understood. And transfer the information in there. Deci Understood. Deci pot să pun o substanță chimică, yeah. o bacterie, I can put virus, chemical, orice, virus, bacteria, anything. Și să transferă to wireless. transfer wireless the information into the water from the external. Understand. Thank you. So this is slowing it down. So this is healing the cancer, right? Eating the cancer. It's eating the cancer. Eating the cancer. And then you pull away the device. And it start to speed up. This is a this is a prototype of a battery, which is with water, and is made in 1990, like 30 years ago. Okay. So. The Pila Carpen, the guy. Pila Carpen. Pila Carpen technology. Romanian, the Dr. John. He developed this technology, he gave to uh, partners in Russia and they create these batteries based with water. Asta este următoarea chestie. Pentru mașini electrice, dacă nu vrei să le pui baterie electrică. So we have this device. Bateria este aerul. Okay. So we have this device for the Uh, electric cars. Yeah. So, so in, in, in order to have the, the, the car driving with the battery, uh, you, you, you drive the car with the air which comes to the radiator. It will be the air which will be separated isotopic. Oxygen and hydrogen. It's combined and it's burning the free energy. Which go to the engine of the car da. and never charge it. The same thing you can do with any kind of uh, airplane, helicopter. So the fuel is air. Very good. Thank you. Very good. So those were some of the sneak peeks that we were just looking at of, um, of Captain X. And um, I just want to ask a couple of questions of the good doctor before I bring on the panel. And the first thing I want to ask him is, um, what is his motivation been in the last uh, 25 years of his life? What is his essential motivation? Well, he says that it's it's difficult to uh, give an answer about the motivation or any reason coming. Many scientists they do this because they have some problems, family, they want to heal uh, a wife, a daughter, or something. But in his case, he says that you know what? I just received the information from the universe and I just feel it to release to the world. That was my next question. Is what, is, <laughs> what is his method? What is his method of innovation, of inventing? How does this process <laughs> <of> innovation? <laughs> well, it's all about the divine. You know, Nikola Tesla, which actually his real name it was Nikolai Tesla. Okay? 
So he's just receiving this and it's coming into his mind. There's nobody that can talk, there's no ET, there's no nothing. It's just the energy, creative energy is delivered to somebody who was chosen for this mission, like us. You have the mission to give this kind of people to the world. I have the mission to implement it, this to give to the world and together form a joint venture union to give this uh, back reality. Very good. What so, a mission. So, okay, so he says that uh, in, in one, one moment that you really, you really desire to create something for the society, some, some brand new, brand new technology, you just shut down your mind and yep. you just stay there into, into the desire until you make it happen. Wonderful, beautiful. Okay, so it's just a perfect uh, projection of plasma, of will, and to, to uh, and, and then everything else flows as long as you've created that seed pattern in the correct way. And, and the difference between Dr. X and other scientists, with all respect, he's really following the nature. So the nature is his motivation mostly because he follow everything what is how it's flying the air, how it's flying the leaves, how it's the wind, how it's water. So he's going into the energy of the creation of God. And this is how he received this information by the nature. Very good. So let me let me now introduce and bring on, I think I'm correct, this is the correct time. I'm gonna bring Shenaz um, now because I need to give uh, Eliza time to run through the slideshow. We're running a bit late. I knew there'd be a lot of questions uh, for Captain X, but I also want you to thank the general there. I've met that man. He's a, the, the general is a formidable man, and I want to thank him as well and his silent army for standing as, uh, as surety behind this technology and behind these scientists, because without the military guys, and the intelligence community, the good guys, we would not be having this conversation. The doctor, he would love to, to share something to you. Please. He, he's, he has the greatest honor that have the opportunity to meet such a lovely people like you. He, he thanks you very much for all the questions. And he really appreciates that you have enough patience to understand us in our quite poor English. But we I'm definitely hope to see you face to face as soon as possible. The general said, I am sure you the security and the guarantee of your safety. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Well, look, we'll, we'll bid you a uh, farewell and thank you, Bruno, so very much, uh, mm. my friend. Um, we're going to say goodbye and uh, you're welcome to stay on, on and view from the green room. But thank you so very much, Bruno Mihailescu. Thank you, General. And thank you, Dr. X, Captain X. Thank you so very much, brother. God bless you.